Market conditions have made a big improvement this year for precious metals. Gold prices hit a 10-month high today. Silver keeps rising, up nearly 15 percent since summer. The only difference between this and, say, a General Motors stock is you own the physical item, where in General Motors, they don't send you a bumper. I showed Mike my old coins and jewelry today, including my grandfather's pocket watch from 1917. The only value they had was sentimental. He also explained where people get confused, seeing on the Internet that silver dollars can be worth $26 a piece. But those are collectible coins, not ones which had been in circulation. See the color difference? Oh, yeah. This is 40 percent silver, 60 percent copper. Miller says many people will spend days polishing their coins, jewelry, or silverware before bringing them in. He says it doesn't change the value one penny. He looks at the metal and not its condition. Here, good example, these scrap silver coins. These are common everyday silver coins that aren't rare. They are worth X amount of dollars per dollar based on their weight value. As the coin shop accumulates precious metals, it eventually has enough to send off to be melted and refined. They can even be turned into other items, like this bell, which was made out of two silver dollars. It's a common good luck charm on the bottom of Harley's. Whether the price of metals is high or low, Miller's ready to check your items and make you an offer. This little baggie, this little baggie is $3,000 worth of scrap jewelry. People don't know this. This is sitting in their jewelry box every day. They've got jewelry that they haven't worn since the 80s. It's worth a small fortune.